Today I'm going to go over a few of the basics of pyrotechnic chemistry. Now here in front of me you can see I have three chemicals, potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. These are the three basic chemicals that make up black powder and the most important chemicals used in pyrotechnics. With the addition of a binder to these three chemicals, you can make a simplified version of every pyrotechnic device. Now the two most important elements to any pyrotechnic composition are represented here. You have an oxidizer in the potassium nitrate and a fuel in the charcoal. To have fire you need oxygen and you need a fuel source and these two make up those elements. Now you can see here that the sulfur is labeled as a modifier. This is because it is not usually used as the primary fuel source in a composition. It is instead used to lower the ignition temperature and increase the gas output. A lower ignition temperature means the composition will have a faster burn rate, which is usually good in the case of black powder. A binder such as the dextrin shown here is a glue that holds the rest of the chemicals together when they are to take the form of stars such as these. As I said, with only these four chemicals it is possible to make every type of firework device at a simplified level. Where you're going to lose some of your variety is in the colors and effects that come with other oxidizers. On the left you can see we have switched out our oxidizer for potassium perchlorate. This is an oxidizer that when it burns releases chlorine atoms which aid in flame coloration. It is also capable of burning at a lower temperature than potassium nitrate which is necessary for many colors to become visible. You can also see that I've added another option for fuel, in this case aluminum powder which is the most common metallic fuel in fireworks. Stars that are fueled by metals are typically much brighter and more vibrant than stars that are fueled organically with chemicals such as charcoal. On the far right you can see I have added more chemicals under the name of coloring agents. These chemicals are used to change the colors of stars and other effects. In most cases, strontium compounds are used to create a red color, barium compounds are used to create green or yellow, and copper compounds are used to create a blue color. A binder is also necessary to bind perchlorate stars, but often dextrin is replaced by some other chemical that is capable of donating chlorine to the reaction. In many cases, that chemical is parlon. There are many more chemicals, formulations, and effects than just those that I've mentioned in this video, but I hope I have given you a taste of exactly what goes into a chemical composition used for pyrotechnics.